Well, here we are for the week of December 25th, free instant BBO tournament. Merry Christmas. As always, click on Solitaire, weekly free instant tournament. And we'll start. Okay, so I have a balanced 6, 12, 18, 20. So I'm going to open two no trump. And partner is transferring me to hearts. Should I super accept? I mean, no. He's either weak or has slam interest. So I'm going to test bid four hearts. And he's weak. So there you go. I mean, weak or slam forcing. And there he is, weak. All right, so we have four diamonds and a spade is five. And five hearts is ten, so we shouldn't go down. We might get another spade here. And if the heart king is on side, we could make six. We could use a pitch from dummy on the diamond. So let's take a look and see if we can figure this one out. The eight of diamonds opening lead, they lead third and fourth best. That looks like a very big diamond. You could have jack nine, eight, tripleton. That's it, he can't have four, so the most he has is three. How am I going to get the dummy to take the heart finesse? I guess I could lose a, I could win the diamond and lose a club, but they might get a diamond, or if the eight of diamonds could be a singleton. I think I'm going to finesse east later in diamonds. I want to finesse in hearts right away, so let's win that one. And let's try the diamond finesse. I mean, the heart finesse. Oops. So we're going to want to pull trumps and then knock out our club so we can rough a club to get the dummy. And hopefully they'll help us out on the defense here. I don't need the queen of hearts, but I do need to be in dummy. So I'll lead a heart to the 10. There's one heart out. 6, 4, 2, 1. So heart split 6, 4, 2, 1. Heart to the dummy. And should we try to spade? We'll go ahead and try to spade finesse or the diamond finesse. Let's see what West second card is. So he high loads. So he's got two diamonds. He won't have five. So the East has got the Jack and another diamond. And I need to take the spade finesse. So I'm going to give up a club. Rough a club. Ten of diamonds. Club rough. And now we'll try to spade finesse. Okay, we can claim. Okay, 67.9%, a lot of company. Okay, so let's look at this hand. We have a nice hand. We have 16 high card points, a five card club suit. So the first question is, do we want to open one no trump, which is a definite possibility. If we open a club, what's our rebid? Uh, can't jump to three clubs. One no trump would be non-descriptive. So because I always look for my second bid, I don't have a good rebid over a heart or a spade. So I'm going to open a no trump. So partner is doing stamen. Well, of course, I don't have a a major, so I rebid two diamonds as normal. So we're in three. No, no, no pass. I was supposed to say, almost clicked the wrong thing. Pass. Okay. Well, let's see. We've got two spades, four hearts for six, and the ace of clubs for seven. 
So if the king of clubs is within east, we can finesse twice in clubs, and we will have uh, three clubs, four hearts, two spades. The problem here is uh, Wes got the queen jack, so if he's missing the ten, maybe we can get him, trick him to play another spade by making West east spade look big. We don't want them to switch to a diamond. They have at least four diamond tricks when they get in, because diamonds can be 4-4, four, four, they can take four diamond tricks. If they're 5-3, unless the suit is blocked, they can take uh, five diamond. But our big strategy here is to win the ace of spades and to make east card, whatever spade he plays, look big. So we're not going to play our two of spades. So we'll win this one. And we'll... It's hard to... It looks like a pretty... We won't go crazy. Six. Now, if Wes has the jack-10 of spades, he knows his partner doesn't have anything in spades. He can't underlead the jack-10. Uh, now we're going to try our club finesse, and we have re-entries to finesse again. So what we just hope is the club finesse wins, and, and we're, we're golden. Um, what's the best psychological play here, the jack or the queen? I don't think it matters. We'll play the jack. Oh, that's good. Now if, now we need clubs to divide 3-3. Three, 5-3-3-2. Three. Three, three, so they both have 3. Well, we don't have a good re-entry to our hand. I wish, or if I had another club, I'd be cold. Do I want to let them know about the... Uh, if I catch ace, king, queen, jack of hearts, um, I don't have a way back to my queen of clubs, so we're not going to do that. We will catch the queen of clubs. And we'll pitch a spade. Okay, our four of clubs isn't good. So now how... We can take our eight tricks and give up on nine. Or we could lead a club and hope he does something silly. Let's see. If I lead a club and that lose, that's going to lose the West seven or something. Um, and he still doesn't lead a diamond. Diamond honors are obviously split. I've got my tricks. Or should I cash out for down one? When he wins the club, they can take at least four diamonds. I'd be down two, right? Four diamonds, the club, and the club he's already taken is down two. Three notes looks like a normal contract. I'm just going to cash out. Uh, I might get away with leading the club, and he might not lead back a diamond. But uh, I don't think I'm going to try it. If I really needed a board, I would lead a club. I'll just claim four more tricks. One, two, three more tricks. Sixty percent. Yeah, if I'd have gone down another trick. When a normal contract, if I'm going down another trick down to, it would have been 14%. That would not have been good. But, you know, a club might have worked. He might have thrown another diamond. He's thrown one already, so there's another diamond with the diamond split that way. I see 5-3. He throws two. They can only take three. That's still down one. I could open his hand in no trump, but as I've said before, if I've got a 5-4 hand with four spades, I... I can open a club or diamond heart, whatever, and rebid spades. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I plan to rebid spades instead of opening a no trump here. Okay, now am I good enough to jump to three spades? This is a this is a question. Let's count my points. I get only one point for the queen double to the hearts. I get only two points for the queen jack double to the diamonds. I lose a point for both of those. And I've got one, two, three quacks and one ace. So those are okay. So in support of spades, I get two point. I get my points back for the two doubletons. 
So I've got about 16 points. I'm just, this is just barely worth the jump to three spades. Okay, now let's see if we can make this thing. If you haven't, if this is your first time looking at uh, these tournaments, when you're a dummy, which I am now, uh, you get to play the hand, which is good. And BBO actually instituted all uh, robot events where you're playing just ro against robots that you switch over and declare the hand when you become declarer. So here we are. It looks like a spades break 4432. I'm going to lose a spade and I can throw away some hearts on those diamonds. So my current plan is to win a diamond and cash ace king of spades and I hope I get the discard. The seven of diamonds is worth watching. They lead fourth best or low from three. Okay, well, we hope spade split. Are we in some serious trouble? We're going to let them keep their ten of spades, whoever has it. We don't know. I guess I'll just cash one, let the jack of diamonds win. I think it's safe to play a club to dummy. Club to dummy. Diamond, pitch a heart. Okay, well, there's a 10. Now they get their heart, and I think I have the rest. I can rough the heart. The club is good. I can rough the club, so we have all the rest of the tricks. So we can claim. Seventy one percent. All right, this hand is all about hearts. Let's count our hand before we get too excited. Do we have what fourteen points? Fifteen points. But we're gonna lose a point for the Queen Doubleton of Diamonds, so that drops us down to fourteen. I don't deduct for ace jack doubleton, I, I'll keep my points there. I have a seven card suit, so I get three extra points, a point for the fifth, six, and seven point uh, heart. So our 14 has grown to 17. I've got a quality suit in hearts, that's 18. They play strong jump shifts, I think. Rebuildable hearts, 17 or more points. With your normal partner, you wouldn't be able to jump shift. Now the question is, do I want to bid three hearts or four hearts? I don't know the difference between them. Three hearts is solid hearts maximum. No solid six card heart suit. Ace, king, queen, no heart something. 17 total points. What's four hearts? Solid minimum. That's what I got. I don't know what he's doing, but I'm going to bid five hearts. I don't have a diamond control. All right, I mean, he got us too high. So let's see how we're going to make this thing. I bid two hearts, four hearts, or one heart, four hearts, or... I don't play strong jump shifts uh, with the robots, so, I mean, with anybody else but the robots, so I'm not that familiar with them. So let's see. If the spade finesse is on, that'd be good. It looks like they, they're going to make a very passive lead here. He doesn't have the king. I need to get rid of some cards on diamonds. I need one of the two finesses to work. And it looks like I'm going to lose a diamond and at least a heart. I can't afford to lose a spade or a club. So one of these finesses have to work. And hearts have to split three three, or you know, arch doubleton queen or doubleton ten. We'll play low. I might want to re-enter this. Okay, the f he led to five. Uh, that looks like he doesn't have the king. I don't think he lead away from the king. So we're gonna win that one. 
Pull a couple rounds of trumps. Trump. Trump. So they have another Trump winner. Maybe two. Let's try the club finesse as we need it. All right, if Trump, the club's a 3 3, I'm oh, still got a heart loser. Or two heart losers, perhaps. Okay, so West had two diamonds. We hope three hearts. We don't have a count in spades. We're going to finesse in clubs again. Uh, we know West is, oh, uh, well. We think West is out of diamonds. If he leaves a diamond, I need to play East for the Ten of Hearts. Okay, I got us too high. Well, Merry Christmas to me, I can claim they're out of trumps. Twenty eight percent. Well, the jump shift wasn't so clever, was it? Well, we need, this is short term, we need to pick up a big board here. So this is a hand would talk about the rule of 17. Partner opens a week two in hearts or spades. Count your high card points and add your spades and add your trump support. And that adds up to 17. The rule says you could explore a game. Doesn't mean you have to bid game. So here I start with 17 high card points. So I've already met the rule of 17. I also have two hearts. That gets me to 19. If I was playing uh, imps, I would probably just bid four hearts right now. But two things. One is I, I basically killed myself on the last hand by getting us too high. And the second one is um, I need a board, and I'm running out of boards to get them. I'm not thinking about passing. I mean, partner could have a, a very good hand. I think I'm going to ask him if he's got a good hand or a bad hand. And if he has a good hand, we'll bid game. If he has a bad hand, we'll have to think again. Okay, I think that shows a minimum. Seven points opposite my 17. I do have a little roughing value in diamonds, but I mean, I only got two trumps. If I'd have made five hearts last time, or if we'd have stopped in four hearts, I think I would bid this game. I think the field's going to be in four hearts, so if if I bid four hearts, that probably won't be a bad score, whether it makes or not. But it won't be a good score either, because I'll tie all those people. So one advantage of playing a barometer game is you can try to use strategy. This is the first time I've done this in all of these videos. But I think I'm going to stick in, I think with him having a minimum, I'm going to pass. Okay, so we've, looks like we're going to lose two clubs because he didn't unlead the king. I mean, he didn't unlead the ace. And a diamond, so we can still make four hearts if the spade finesse is on and I don't lose a heart trick. There's two clubs and a diamond. Well, we'll see if we can set up the club king. Okay, now we don't have to finesse in spades anymore. So all we have to do is find the Queen of Hearts and be able to pick it up. So hearts can be 6520. That would be bad. 6421 or 63.
two two. The percentage play is Ace of Hearts and a Heart Finesse. And I see no reason not to do that. Ace of Hearts. A heart Finesse. Bummer. He's got two turns. I need to shorten my hand by two. If I was in four, what I would do now is I would uh, finesse in spades, R rough a club, finesse in jack cash a jack of diamonds, finesse in spades. I, I, I got rough twice though. Two roughs to come. I've got to I got to get two club roughs. So spade finesse, cash the king of clubs. Pitch the Jack of Diamonds. Club rough. Spade. No, I still can't pick it up. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, give him his trump and, and uh, make 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 three. And that might be this might score very good for us. Well, that got us back in the game, I think. Plus 140 is 92%. Where'd my trump coup? I don't think I could trump. I didn't have enough entries to do the trump coup. I needed to rough a club earlier. When I won the ace of hearts, I mean, when I won the uh, king of diamonds, I needed to rough a club just then, maybe. That might have worked. Oh, I have a balance 15. So I could overcall a no trump. This hand would be better as dummy, I think. I could double because I have both majors. It's a tough hand. I think with a robot, with a human partner, I probably would double, but the robots is often be better to have a no trump auction. I think I've discussed this before. Okay, that's forcing the game. We need, if we need to be in three no trump, he, he would have bid it. So I suspect he doesn't have much in diamonds, probably a singleton, maybe a doubleton. Uh, so I'm going to just, I'm not going to, we're forced to three no trumps. I can safely bid three hearts and see if he supports hearts. Maybe he's got spades, maybe he's got uh, slam interest in something. He's got spades. Well, I like spades, so we'll bid four spades. I'll describe my hand. Let's see what he wants to do. He's happy. Well, that's interesting. He did have one. I want to save our entries to dummy, or to declare his hand, which is north. We want to unblock. This we want to get spades out of the way as quickly as we can. So we'll win the ace. And we'll go after spades. Well, that's going to help us a lot. Or maybe not. Well, all the clubs are good, so we can claim all but one trick. We'll have to pull his trumps and cash our clubs in our diamond. He's got the ace of diamonds. I mean, the ace of hearts, and he can't get to his partner. If he ducks a heart, we might make six. So since this is match point, we'll give this a consideration. We can play a small heart if he ducks the ace. Could his partner have the ace? Let's see, he's got the ace ace of spades. Nothing in clubs. 
Yeah, the king, queen, jack of diamonds. Oh, that's not enough point. Well, if I'd have bid three, uh, four hearts last time, I'd definitely need a small heart from Dummy now. I'm trying to see if he's going to duck it. But there's no way to trick him with the king of hearts being a dummy now. Um, and if if I do lead a small heart and West happens to have the ace, he's going to get a club rough. So I guess I'll just pull the trumps, not risk a, my score, to move slightly into the lead. And since we unblock clubs at trick one. I think it's impossible for a squeeze to work here. Wes has got something. <sighs> Wes had the queen jack of hearts, so that would have worked to lead a small if he'd have ducked the heart. He might not have ducked it, in which case it, it would have been the same, same thing. So he has the ace of hearts, but Wes has got the jack covered. But that's something to think about on that kind of hand. If you needed a board there, uh, since it's match points, you don't, you know, you play for the maximum. You could lead a, a small heart towards the king. And if he ducks, you stole the heart trick, and now you can claim, pull trumps and claim. He didn't know about the long club suit opposite. He might very easily have ducked the ace of, ace of hearts. See if anybody made six. No. I wonder if that would have worked. I hope one of you tries that and see if that works. Okay, so let's see this one. Well, I know a lot of you are going to pass this hand, but let's count the points. We've got two quacks, so we don't have to worry about the subtractions for quacks. We have 12 high card points. We have two five card suits, gains a point. Uh, point each. That's. Uh, uh, 14. We lose a point for the Jack of Hearts. That's 13. And we have near quality clubs. I mean, we need that 9 of clubs was the 10. We would get another point. So we got very good spots in clubs. We have pretty good spots in, in spades as well. I mean, I'd rather have a 9, 9 7 instead of 8 7. So I think I'm just going to open a spade. Uh, I'm not going to get too excited. My partner's going to have to drag me. Uh, well, if that's forcing, we're going to bid two clubs. Okay, I wasn't going to get too excited, but the partner's dragging me. Now let's look at our hand again. We get two points for the singleton diamond. We get another point for having five clubs. So our 14 has grown to 15, 16, 17. 17 opposite a limit race, three-card limit race. I'm going to bid four spades. I'm sure you did too. We all use Bergen point counts. So let's take a look at this one. All right, we we don't want to be in a big rush to play on uh, trumps because we have all these clubs we have to do something with. We can maybe throw one on the ten of hearts. So we need to rough at least one club. If we rough two clubs in dummy, it's going to cost us. It's going to cost us a trick because of the king, ace, queen. We'd have to rough with one of those two honors. So we only want to rough one club in dummy. And we're going to rough one club and dummy, throw one club away on the on the heart, and lose a club. So, all right, we're going to win this one. We're going to keep the jack of hearts so that we can force out the king. All right, well, we'll draw our finesse. Oh, good. no finesse, good. I don't know, but that looks like the ace, ace queen doubleton. <sighs> one club rough will make our one spec club rough makes all our clubs good. East will over rough, of course. We can pitch a club on the heart. I think we have to play two rounds of trumps, maybe even three rounds of trumps. I got no re-entry back to dummy, so we're not going to play three rounds of trumps. 
don't think we're going to play two rounds of trumps. Diamond to the ace. Making all our clubs good. All right, so we have a plan. We were never going to rough a. We were never going to rough a club with the with a high spade and dummy. They both fall, so there's only one spade out. Now we're not going to lead a heart here because they'll lead back a uh, trump, perhaps, and I can't rough a club, so we'll lead a diamond to the ace. And we'll rough a club. If 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 West has the three spades and he has to follow up to this club, then we'll rough a diamond back, pull trumps, and make a lot. Bummer. All right, our hand is good now. We're good. There's only one club out. Our jack will catch it. And we're playing. Eighty-two percent. The people not bid game, or did it go down? Let's look. Looks like an easy game to bid. Four spades making four. Four spades making four. Four spades making four. A fair number. Oh, three went down, and six didn't bid it. But using Bergen points, we'd all be in there, right? Okay, so let's look at this one. Oh, nice hand. Was that 19, 10, 13, 14, 15, 6, 16, 16. Well, we'll open this a no trump, I think. Two hearts is a transfer of spades. We got 16. This is not a super accept. If I had the jack of hearts or jack of spades instead of the three of spades, it's still not a super accept. Uh, four triple three is not great, so I'll just bid two spades. Okay. Um, I noticed one partner I play with on a me island who would pass three no trump because he plays three no trump all the time if there's a chance. This hand is not a three no trump hand. It's not a three no trump hand because partner has got to have a doubleton somewhere. Of course, the worst place for him to have a doubleton is in clubs. But if he has a doubleton heart, for example, you definitely don't want to be in three no trump. You've got good spade support. So I just always bid four spades when I have three card fit. I'm always is a little strong. I almost always bid four spades. And so we'll see how this goes. We had two doubletons. Well, the heart lead might be hurting on three no trump. So first question is how we're going to play spades. We play small spade to the pin. We play small spade to the queen. After we cash the ace, of course. So we've got four diamonds, three clubs, it looks like. I suspect he has got the ace. West doesn't underlead it, and he's going to win it. And a heart. And we're going to throw a away, uh, heart away on the clubs if we get a chance. Well, we're going to win that one. <clears throat> so our first question is, do we play a spade to dummy and then catch a king, queen of clubs? Or do we catch the king, queen of clubs, and throw a heart away, and then play a spade to dummy? We won't lead another heart anytime soon. And we don't want to give up the spade lead. We're not going to lead the queen of spades out. That, that'd be silly. Um, wish I remember the club spot bed. Okay, well, the lack of reentry to dummy makes me think I should try to cash two clubs early. Club. Club. Now we're going to play a spade. Hope that's a King Jack Doubleton. Does it really matter? Now these are equals. I can play either one of them. Oh, 
Okay, I got all the rest of the tricks. Flame. So that was uh, 75 percent. Let's look and see what happened at the other tables. I mean, played three no trump, which is a mistake. So those guys beat us by playing three no trump. They didn't get a heart lead. They were lucky. These guys lost to us because they played in three no trump. And somebody went down in four spades. And somebody only made three spades. Let's see how they made three. Only made three spades. Uh, they got the club lead, heart back, play the spade to dummy. And see, when you play another spade here, you're for sure going to lose a heart trick now because somebody's going to win this spade trick and lead a heart. So that's why you don't, don't want to do that. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Merry Christmas, and we'll see you on New Year's Day.